Reiner on an adventure. We saw an owl. Well, we are back at it again. We are once again meeting up with somebody very special. Uh, he's been on the channel before. Uh, I said this in the last video. If you guys have been following me for a while, you already know who this is. And I am very excited, so I gotta get packed. Okay, so we are all packed with the setup and everything, as you can see. Got the EQ6R mount head in one bin, everything else in the other. Telescope in the case, tripod's gonna be on its own. The goal was to have totally left by 12.30, and I still have to pack everything else that's not astro-related, and it is 12.42 right now, so a little behind schedule. Did a little bit of driving somewhere random, I don't know. I hope this is the right house. I don't know, let's see who's in here. Hello. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We have finally made it to the house of Tanner, but a lot of you may know him as Astro Tan. I know a lot of people who are subscribed to this channel that are also very aware of Tanner and all the amazing things that he does. If you haven't checked out his channel, again, it is Astro Tan. I will link it here. I was planning to get here at about 2.30. The drive here is about that long, but uh, traffic was insane. So it is a little bit past 3.30 now and we are just starting to get set up. Everything made it here safely. I'll show you in a second, but uh, with the early sunset being at about 4.30 today, we don't have much time. The shenanigans have already begun. If you guys remember that video that we made back in February last time I came over here, you know how crazy he is. Wild things are in store for tonight. There was a surprisingly little amount of planning that went into this meetup before it happened. We realized that we both had this weekend free and we were just like, it's gonna be clear, so why not do it? Tanner's pretty solid on what he's gonna be imaging tonight. I'm still not so sure, which is rare. Usually I have it figured out by the time the night comes along, but I'm still considering a bunch of different targets, so we'll figure that out as we get set up and night comes a little bit closer. But yeah, all the gear made it safe, as you can see. Here we are. Same stuff we were talking about earlier. It's all here and Tanner is upstairs. He's taking flats right now. He takes his flats inside like a weirdo. Obviously you wanna do it with a panel outside, but I don't know where this man is at. I don't wanna waste any time. So honestly, I might get set up soon. But yeah, he's got this beautiful backyard. Look at this. Those of you familiar with my channel and the videos that I make, you know that I do not have the luxury of a very open backyard. In recent months with the big storm that we had, a lot of those trees have been cleared out, but my yard is pretty much in a forest. We have very little open sky. So being here in a yard like this makes me 
very envious of all of the opportunities that Tanner has. Not to mention that his backyard is at least a full two classes lower than me on the light pollution scale. It's no Cherry Springs, and that's for sure, but it's certainly better than being in the middle of Chicago. Tanner, get out here, the owl's here. The owl. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. There was a coyote, and I'm, I'm just like taking a picture, I'm like, wait, let's check if the owl's in the tree, and I see it. All right, so if you guys didn't catch that, there's the owl over there. This is the setup for imaging the owl. We got a little carried away to quote Tanner. Here's the man himself. You haven't seen him in this whole video yet. We have some absolutely diabolical shenanigans going on in his <laughs> This is his setup for imaging the yeah, owl. We got the, we got the Orion Sky Max. It is not tough. 102? It, it is not. The, sky, uh, the, the Star no, Adventure you got it. GTI. No. Yeah. It's this tripod model. No, that was a terrible throw. Awful throw. This is so stupid. Oh my god. Alright, so the sun has officially set and it's getting dark now as you can see. We've got both of our setup set up in the background here. Tanner is going after, what are you going after? Pleiades. Pleiades. And I've decided on the bubble nebula. It is going to be a great target for tonight. It is up all night and I'm really going to take advantage of these darker skies that Tanner's got here. It's still not going to be fully dark for about 45-ish minutes. It's 521 right now, so we're about an hour into sunset, a little less than that. So we have some time to sort of chill out here. The plan is we're going to start imaging and then go and grab some dinner, and then we're going to come back and see how everything's looking. We have a very long night ahead. I think it's 13 hours and 58 minutes of total darkness tonight, so we're going to get some good data. Here we are. Fast forward. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Our favorite place in the whole world. <laughs> Feast of Champion. Honest review of the Chick-fil-A. John, John, John. All right, it is approaching half past 12 now. It is much later, and the good news is that it has been totally clear the entire night. It is freezing though. It is so cold. I am trying to keep it concise out here because it is so cold. <laughs> 
But yeah, from the Owl to the Chick-fil-A stop to the Crazy Coyotes, it has been a wild night with some really crazy moments. I'm really grateful because all of my Bubble Nebula sub-exposures are going well, but the thing that matters most to me is making some good memories and spending some time with the people that I care about. Tanner's backyard is dark. It has been a long time since I was here without a moon out, and man, I am jealous. Got setup one, my setup, and setup two tanners with perfectly clear skies. Look at Orion up there. Jupiter, I think that is. Look at that, the Orion Nebula right in there. I mean, that's insane. I was very surprised that I hadn't imaged the Bubble Nebula on this channel before. It's such a cool target and it's really special to me as it's one of the first targets that I got a really successful image that I was proud of from my stock DSLR on. It's a very dynamic target with the super bright bubble in the middle mixed with the faint outer dim wavy hydrogen region surrounding it. I always love going after this target and I didn't actually capture it last year so it's been two years since I've gone after it. But again overall it's just really great to be back here with Tanner imaging and I couldn't be happier. Winter is right around the corner and I have a setup that actually works with a mount that can track the night sky. So I call that a win in my book. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as Tanner and I loved making it. We always love doing these meetups, and we're hopefully going to see a lot more of Tanner on this channel in the future. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Clear skies. Clear skies. <laughs> Clear skies. Hey, don't forget to like Instagram. Okay, we don't ask that on this channel. <laughs>all right me and ryan are on an adventure we saw an owl oh there it goes there it goes where'd he go it's flying way far now oh shoot